how to use audacity so the first thing you want to do is go to audacity.com and oh okay go to audacityteam.org i'll have links to this in the description download audacity install it and once you do that then you will have a software that looks like this so the first thing click edit go to preferences and click on devices and then make sure your playback and your recording devices are correct you want your recording device to be your microphone you can use stereo mix to record the sound coming out of your speakers and some sound cards don't have stereo mix so don't don't freak out if you don't have it but if you have stereo mix and you want to record something coming out of your speakers you can use this but anyway this is for microphone so make sure your microphone is selected and then click OK. If your microphone for some reason doesn't show up, come to the horn here in the bottom right corner of the Windows screen, right click it and click on Recording Devices and make sure it shows up in this menu. Be sure to right click and Show Disabled Devices so if that device for some reason is disabled all you have to do is right click it and then you can re-enable it. And make sure it's checkmarked which makes it the default device. If it doesn't show up in this menu then there's probably something wrong with your microphone or with your sound card then click OK. So when you're ready to get recording it's pretty easy just click record and start talking and if everything's working your microphone will be picking up all of your sound waves. Now I'm gonna click play to see how this sounds. You just click record and start talking and if everything's working so it sounds pretty good. Now some microphones specifically the cheaper ones tend to sound pretty quiet with audacity so if it is too quiet make sure that the recording volume and right here it'll be next to a microphone it might be over on a different part of the uh, software but look for this uh, microphone with a meter next to it and make sure the recording volume is all the way up at one mine's at seven at point seven six because that's where uh, it is the good volume for me but if yours is at one uh, it should amplify it a little bit but if it's at one and it's still too quiet talk closer to your microphone if it's still too quiet after that record something normally just like you normally would and then when you're finished click on effect and go to amplify then here you can amplify it just a little bit if you amplify it too much you see the OK button goes away so it won't let you but if you can amplify it a little bit then you can click OK and it becomes louder so let's play this one you just click record and start talking so that is a heck of a lot louder which can be good if yours is too quiet but mine was fine before so I'm gonna push control Z to undo that now something I will do every time when I'm done recording is go to effect and click on leveler. Then I will click OK and this will kind of smooth out the audio. What leveler does is it will lower the loud points and it will raise the volume of the low points. And this just makes it a little bit easier to listen to and it sounds nicer in the finished video. So how do I use Audacity to record my video games? Well, as I mentioned in my previous recording videos, I don't recommend using the option in Fraps or another recording software to record your microphone and game audio at the same time. This may sound great and it may sound easy, and it is easier, but you don't get a whole lot of control over your voice when you use Fraps. You don't get a whole lot of control over the game audio and your voice. Because if you did it this way, if you wanted to raise your voice's volume, you would also be simultaneously raising the video game volume. And in most cases, the video game volume is a lot louder than your voice's volume, and you want to make sure people can hear you over the game, but they'll also be able to hear what's going on in the game. The best way to do this is to record these two sources separately. So I will use Fraps to record my game volume, but I use Audacity to record my voice volume. Now you need to make sure that the two are also synchronized and there's a certain order you need to begin your recordings. To make sure they are synchronized you want to record in Audacity first and then you'll want to load up your game but you won't want to start talking until you begin recording with Fraps. So I'm just going to demonstrate this right now. And the second I begin my Fraps recording I'm going to start talking. This way my volume or my voice and my game will be synchronized. If I don't do it this way, then my voice might be ahead or behind what's going on in the game, and nobody's going to know what's going on. When I'm finished recording, I'm going to stop talking, then I'm going to end the Fraps recording, and then I'm going to end the Audacity recording. And now I'm going to come back here to the beginning in Audacity. You see all this dead space, this silent space? This is the time it took me to click record, load up City Skylines, and then begin recording 
in uh, with fraps. So if I play right here, there's going to be a key press sound right here. And that key press is the exact moment when the fraps recording began. So that'll be my synchronization point. So I need to cut off this dead space before that point and you can leave a little bit of a gap you don't want to leave too much of one though and you can do this just by clicking and dragging with your mouse and then pushing delete on the keyboard now I'm gonna come to the end and I'm gonna listen for that key press at the end here I think it may be this one yep so this is where my recording ended now when you're at the end of the video it doesn't really matter I could cut all of this off but for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna cut off the I'm just going to cut off the point after my recording ended. So I'm going to click and drag, push delete, and now as you see my narration is about 25 seconds long. So if I open up my, uh, let's see if I can refresh this here, if I open up my recording drive you can see my, here's my city skylines video and the recording is 24 seconds long which is fine because that's just about the same length as uh, my narration so that means both of these are going to be synchronized when I finally put them into editing so before I export this like I said I'll come to leveler and I will level it all out then I'll hit file when you're ready to export it I'll go to file and then export audio then I'm gonna name it something in this, in this case just cities and then I'm gonna click save and this menu will come up if you're gonna be recording something like music with a guitar or whatever then you can change your artist name and whatever you want here but since this is for a video game I don't care about that I'm just gonna click OK and I'm gonna refresh this and then right here is my fraps file and then my narration so since they're both just about the same length I can drop them into an editing software and then I can change those two audio levels independently now the editing softwares are going to be different with the controls of your audio so you're going to want to figure out how to do that depending on the software you're using. I use Adobe Premiere and I will be having a separate video on how to use Adobe Premiere for the basics and how to do all of that later on. Now say I don't want to do a live narration of City Skylines because what I just did right now was I was narrating at the exact same moments that I was playing there's an airplane going overhead, I don't know if you can hear that. So anyway, they call that a live narration. Now that is a lot of fun, but you tend to make a lot of mistakes when you're playing live. So if I wanted to record City Skylines and then put it in editing, and then I edited out all my mistakes, maybe my loading screens, things like that, and then I wanted to narrate it after the fact, I would use Audacity in the same way. So like I said, I would put it in Adobe, I would edit the video first, and then I will narrate once it's done editing by loading up Audacity, and then I'm going to click record, and then I'll click play, but I'm not going to start talking until the video begins playing, and that's for the same synchronization reason. So it would be something like this. And as soon as that begins playing, I'm going to start talking. Now I'm going to end this. And once again, this dead silent space here is the time it took me to click record and then click play and then begin talking. So I need to cut that out and that's probably not enough, but there we go. Then I can cut off that dead space, then I can do any effects I need to. I can amplify it. If it's too quiet, I can level it, reduce the noise, and be sure to play around with some of these, see what they do. You can get some pretty interesting effects with Audacity. And that is how I use Audacity to record my audio levels independently for my narrations for all of my different videos. Hopefully this basics video helped you out. If there's more complicated stuff you want to do, you'll be much better off either using Google or finding a different video who could do a lot better job explaining some of the cooler things you can do in Audacity. Thank you for watching.